Hola, hola, mis disponis de la vida y de la vida. ¿Cómo están? Hello, my disponis fellows. How are you? I'm back finally to my home, but I am not, um, I, I do not feel uh, quite well to do this video in, in the other one. So I'm doing it in this one. Hopefully, you will enjoy it. Um, I, I'm going to do my first spoon is Sephora but I'm going to get in a little bit problems and I'm sorry for all of you friends of Mexico and Latin America because I am going to do this video only in English or kind of Spanish but I don't know what I'm gonna do um, because I want to address a subject that caught my attention day yesterday it happens yesterday so I don't know how do you how you do this smoky gold but I will try to do this okay here are the things that I bought I'm not going to write here in one hundred women because I have no idea how much I spent and I want to just keep it that way uh, the first thing that I bought was something that I really needed uh, I bought this uh, mini size dry shampoo from Sephora and I use it like a lot <laughs> at the beach um well it's not like the world but it's not like the world so kind of um i also bought uh, some wipes because i didn't want to take the ones that i have here uh, i love the wipes I, I i have my prefer i i rather um the mac wipes the minis and the body shop wipes because i do feel that they will clean your your face they, this one are not like special actually um this i haven't used it so i'm gonna use it right now with you the worst is i keep the contest i'm gonna use it with you this is a hi-fi hi-fi shine i think it's a gloss but the color is kind of different it's like a it's it's what color is this it's neat but i think it is not like pink it is like between pink and and I also got a <laughs> replacement for this Urban K uh, concealer because we I, we I, we still have this bottle of concealers which I'm just I'm just waiting for one more one more I got this Urban K uh, long lasting makeup setting spray and small I love minis that was not on there I'm sorry I love 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 minis and I bought this makeup forever uh, thing that I did it myself and I'm gonna try it here. Uh, I have the other box, but I don't know. Seems like it's lost. And here are the shades, so I'm gonna try. I think this one is really. I hope this one works because I feel like it's kind of not too. I should have tried them there, but seems like not that. Well, let's see what happens. I think I don't. I don't know if this this uh. Uh, this is a new or is it no say so I have always wanted to try this Stila thing Stila eyeshadow this is a shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow but it is in a color that it really caught my attention I you know I'm not a fan of shimmers but this one I was like oh my god it's so beautiful the color and I like to come and talk to you guys about said irritations. I think there's some sort of myth that like when you reach a certain level in your life, like you just like you have no problems or something. I don't know. My face first. I was listening because I I I have been fun of Bonnie or Great Yard Tree Girl. And I, I think I have mentioned in some of my videos. I have. That when I wanted to have fun or just to just to have fun or to laugh or I tend to go and watch her chat. And those things, uh, this thing of, does this thing really work? I mean, this, this is pigmented. Okay, Jeffrey, please do not sue me, but this is pigmented. <laughs> I like this. 
Um, don't sue me, Jeffrey. Uh, I knew before she even said or commented or I listened in another break because I do not remember right now. I'm I'm still in my fog, my fog face. <laughs> uh, so I don't know where I heard or where I listened how she started to have this anxiety and problems. Maybe because she was she was trying to get another channel. I do remember this, that I used to get so 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 tired from, from ballet school from my work and I used to get into my infra therapy and then uh, which I am going to do after this um, and try to relax and I always used to put a bunny video and I was just laughing as crazy. Uh, but everybody from like the Pope to Brad Pitt and everybody in between I don't know why I just plopped Brad Pitt at the bottom of the spec box. And literally, um, Starbucks does not care about my life, okay? Um, and like, I don't know, like, it, 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 Starbucks is like Walmart, right? They could just like crush me like a bug. They don't care about me and my little thoughts and opinions and complaints and whatever. They don't care, okay? Uh, then I think the, the video of, of this Sean serious. I'm going to go with this. I knew that she had anxiety problems. And now everybody is like, if they are going to speak about someone, they feel like almost proud of having anxiety problems. I knew before she said it, I don't know how, I do not remember, but for me when she was doing a lot of craft things, it gave me like, it made like a click on my head that she might have anxiety problems, but I never thought that her anxiety was so deep and she almost seem to be to me like agoraphobic i hope i'm doing this word right agoraphobic over indulgency with starbucks because the experience of going there um and like i just i don't know i love all the baristas at my store like they've always been extremely friendly like i am such a regular there that like particularly for me um it was like a great way to have some social interaction without overdoing it like a lot of times last year since i was so depressed i found it hard to like commit to go out and hang out with friends and stuff like that but I could go to Starbucks and just like talk to a barista where like yeah there's like some friendship there but it's not like an actual like friend that you hang out with it's just like a familiar face that like brings about a kind of like comforting sensation um, what is that is when you are afraid to go outside and as I said in many videos, when I feel that someone, some somebody or someone or when I feel that that's about work, oh, what about the lighting? When I feel that some person has been misunderstood or you are not watching like the whole picture and when I feel that someone messes with the community, they mess with me. Because I consider any kind of person with an invisible, invisible illness. I am not speaking about, oh, I also have anxiety, you know, I, I, I have, uh, I have days or, or, bad days or you 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 just really you, you you please please be patient with me because i i want i do not want to be unrespectful with people 
because the truth of the matter is I do not know who does and who does not who has just a face, who is just going through a phase of depression and who has clinical depression. I do not know who really in YouTube community is speaking about um, panic attacks just because they are going through a bad phase or because that happens regular, regularly, regularly, regularmente as a result of the symptomatology or symptoms of an invisible illness and and that is my main point here it is not the same when you are going through a phase than when you are literally living with this 24 7 I'm just going to go now let, let me just say in Fair Verona where we lay our scene and a lot of people I think who want to get a little which once again this is a problem with my focusing because like a lot of supportive tweets like I just tweeted I don't even remember what stupid crap I tweeted I was just like oh like Starbucks changed their gold card refill policy um day ruined or like something like that you know because I just like Sometimes use social media to pop off and be silly and be dramatic and so then you like get a bunch of responses I guess of people that like think you're being super serious or that it's like a super I don't know like salty people we'll see. She was like eh, being I cannot say criticize it, but she was like answering or responding uh, to the Bunny's video word by word. But that video, I felt that it was not fair. Why do I feel that they were like, they have been like, they are being kind of hard because in my community if you follow me on instagram or if you are part of a facebook group support group of uh, anxiety depression but those those uh, symptoms because they are symptoms of something deeper and maybe harder to deal with is um, which is basically in our case or in my case my case I have ME CFS POTS uh, <laughs> a lot of things that made me deal with anxiety 24-7 but that is one symptom just one. I felt that a lot of comments of Dustin, that, that is the only one who has addressed this issue, Dran, Chan, that I was aware that he addressed to this thing. Um, I sent a Twitter and I, I expressed the way I feel the way I felt about that. I express, I'm sorry if I am not making myself really clear. I will try to because I don't know how does Smokey Glow do this. Everybody is just focusing now that I don't know if that series which on was helpful or not. Everybody is just speaking and focusing on how she was ranting and how a brat she was and how this millionaire can just complain about that and so on and so forth. I do not know if I want to get into the detail or not. Was able to watch and not because I am special or because I have superpowers. No, because this kind of chronicle diseases 
gives you this empathy to see or to separate the person of what she's saying or to see the why behind the what. And I'm working, I feel like every day I'm getting a little bit better about focusing on the positivity. Let me rephrase. I wanted to understand why why was for her a big issue? Why was a big issue for her? The thing that she could no longer do what she was used to. I'm going just to put it in that way. Because if I go to the meaning things that she said and she, I'm not going to make like a big point here. And I want to. I am not saying that she is in, she's totally correct. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I want you to just for one moment watch or see the things that she said or she did from my point of view of a people who is ill, really ill and sick, who knows what agoraphobia is, because I have been there, who knows what a panic attack is, who knows what being shaking is, who knows what you are so scared of socialize. I'm going to try with a brush and then I'm going to If no one believes that a change in your routine can scare you, I can promise you that it does. Hmm. Even a good change. I, sometimes I'm not able to sleep for days because I'm going to travel and spend an excellent time in a different country. And that caused me anxiety. And I just want to cry and get under my bed and do not know anything about anybody. But I can tell you from my experience that when something like that happens whatever the policy or the not policy or whatever whatever happens when you have a problem with the, not your per, oh, this kind of problem like Bonnie does with anxiety and depression I, because I think what what's inside is like a big, big, big depression. I don't know, I am not a doctor, but with all my respect, I think neither of us are. I totally understand your point of view. I, I understand that when she says that, uh, how come, how come, these guys that she's friends with and so on and so forth. You 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 may say, come on money, you're a multi-billionaire. You can pay this. Or with all this money that you spend in coffee or tea or you know what that is not the point. She was so angry about being heard like saying that Starbucks are ruining her life. You cannot take that literally. But maybe she was speaking literally. I understand that. 
and we take these things, this corporative stuff, personal. Because we are so damaged. We are so vulnerable to every little single thing that someone can tell us. That if she said, start with just, just ruin my life, this is my humble opinion. I don't think she's saying it because she's not going to have the money to. I think she, she, she just felt hurt. Why? I don't not know. If we have one thing in common, all of us in this community, is that we are let less judge, judge, jud, less judgment, more compassion, less judgment, more. empathy between winning an argument and be kind I rather be kind if for you it makes just no sense I can tell you if I if I if I was able to, to tell you lots of behavior that wouldn't make sense to you we will be here like Hmm? But what is the difference between Bunny and me? She's a public figure now. She's in the eye of everybody. She said, I'm complaining about stuff that are not meaningful to you. Maybe that was the word that was missing to you. She said, I don't know what the hell, what, what nonsense I tweet. Uh oh. <laughs> Me pasé. <laughs> I like these ones. These are so soft. For spoonies. It is nonsense for you. I repeat, I am not saying that she's true. That she 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 she's right and the Starbucks is wrong. Let, let me just say in Fair Verona where we lay our scene and a lot of people I think who want to get a little which once again this is a problem with my focusing because like a lot of supportive tweets like I just tweeted I don't even remember what stupid crap I tweeted I was just like oh like Starbucks changed their gold card refill policy um day ruined or like something like that you know? I understand And maybe you can totally disagree with me, and that's fine. I agree to disagree. I have always said that as well. That's fine. But you can trust on me. I am a person who is sick. I am a person that has had to work on that, that journal and has had to find out oh, different kind of ways to treat my anxiety. I, 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 I have this clock and this clock, this, this watch and I need to check my, my heart because the anxiety and the pots comes and they go as they please and we have no control of it. Seriously. We cannot say that she is so sick 
or that she is not. We cannot say that she needs to take responsibility for her anxiety. <laughs> that she needs to be more responsible with her anxiety thing because we do not know if she goes to therapy or not. We do not know that. Sometimes we tend to be so hard on people because trust me, I have watched those comments on Instagram. I am so lost because ah, now I need to get into this plane at this time when I used to do it at this time. And a normal person would go like, and what is the problem? You just need to get up earlier or later or, but it's a problem to us because we feel secure in our routine. So please just, I'm just saying, let's be more understandable. Trust me, I have felt things so personally that were not person in any moment. But we are so vulnerable in everything. I listen to someone to say, I cannot understand how somebody can stay at home and do nothing. Here I am, you can ask me. This is what I do now that I cannot teach, do recitals, go and create customs, and go to conferences and competition with my elite ballet group. So yes, something like that could destroy not necessarily the life, literally speaking, that uh, I'm dead. No, no, she will not be dead, but she was just like... And maybe I will do some comparisons between this, tar, prices... Ah! <laughs> Are you still here? <laughs> prices and... Oh my god. And how they behave? Which one is better? Tar or Stila? Hmm? Would you like that? Because you did have in your comments. Serious? It was like a backfire for her. Right now, the only thing that we think when we think about... <laughs> Am I making any sense? The only thing that we think when we think about Bunny is how much money she has. We are so... We can take out so easily this beast that we have inside of us and attack or saying things that can really hurt someone else without thinking. She has a big depression problems. I think she is totally real when she says that she has this more than anxiety. The difference here is that she has 8 million people following her and us, the community, we are invisible. And if she is the ugliest person in the world, and if she has been lying, that I do not think so, and if she has been hiding, blocking people, I don't think that is because she's mean. I think it is because she's scared. And right now, I would love to listen to her. Not to judge, just to listen. 
because a lot of times I would love just to be with someone who can just listen to me. Whether you believe it or not, that is the truth. So please leave me your comments. I would love, I would love to listen, to listen. I would love to read what you think about this situation. But please, just for once, just for once, read, do some research about the people who has, who really has agoraphobic problems, anxiety problems, pots. We can have a heart attack out of nothing. Please watch or see or try to understand the why the why behind the what. I love you. Please do not waste your spoons. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'm still me. I love you. And I hope I can see you on my next video.